When I was watching YouTube videos on the Cirrus 620, one of the things I couldn't figure out is whether things fit in different spots or not. And so in this video, I'm going to show you what fits and what doesn't fit. And so let's start with the refrigerator. As you can see, we've got a pretty big refrigerator um, with a very small freezer. So the freezer is, is just tiny. It'll definitely not fit... A, uh, a gallon of ice cream, never in a million years. They give you this uh, microscopic ice tray uh, with it, and uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, let's see if it'll fit a standard ice tray. Never in a million years. Uh, so it won't fit a standard ice tray, but um, I got these ice trays from my Winnebago, and while it won't fit them, they're silicon, uh, so you, you can cut them, and I actually, I cut one down to size so it'll fit it'll fit two uh cut silicon ice trays just fine what i found a little frustrating on my first trip though is with one ice tray in there and then a bag of spinach it was difficult to get that spinach in and out easily um so i think i'm just gonna stick with fresh vegetables and i'm gonna carry two ice cube trays. You got to be careful how high you fill them because the freezer is at an angle and if you put any extra water in there it ends up, look you can see there's a bunch of water in there. It ends up in that in that little tray. Um, so these, I'll put a link to these uh, silicon ice cube trays uh, down below in the comments of the video. Uh, one of the other things that I'm struggling with, I drink a lot of water on the road, and uh, I just went to Walmart this morning, and I bought this jug. It's a, it's a one-gallon jug that I thought would fit, and it, it doesn't fit. Um, what will fit, though, are these standard half-gallon milk containers. Um, so I think I'm just going to keep an extra milk container for my water and, uh, and deal with it that way. It has this, uh, funky thing that opens here, I guess for really tall, narrow stuff, or maybe you put it up high. Uh, this is also one thing I noticed. This rack is very difficult to get out of here. Um, because the refrigerator door doesn't open the whole way. You can bend it and get it out of here. You know what this is for? This is for the, the tops of bottles to stick through. If I put this way up high, um, then I could get the bottle tops to stick through. And I bet you my water jug would fit, but then I'd lose shelf space. So I'm not going to move that. I'll just take the water jug back. Um, the door has these little separators, and it'll fit... No, no, it, it won't fit anything like that. I think you can fit soda or beer cans up here. Just so you can get an idea of size, you can fit a ca standard can in here. Um, so it could fit, I guess, taller, taller cans or t taller water bottles would probably fit there as well. Um, anyway, that's the refrigerator. I was kind of excited to get a uh, camper that has a pull-out pantry, um, but this is definitely not a pull-out pantry. Uh, these shelves are really normal, narrow. They're fixed, um, so you can't move them up or down, and uh, like they definitely won't fit that bug spray. They won't fit that bug spray. They'll never fit my electric toothbrush. <laughs> um, so what will they fit? <laughs> so uh, having lots of tall stuff like this and having no good place to put it and this being a really convenient place to keep stuff like this, um, I went out and I bought a right angle, a right angle adapter for my drill and uh, I drilled some holes. Um, not something I wanted to do on a brand new camper, uh, but I didn't see any other solution. And now I can fit my bug stuff, no problem. I can fit my electric toothbrush. Um, 
and I'll show you all the stuff I can fit in this cabinet now. So now, as you can see, I have fit a lot of stuff in there. Fits my razor upside down. I got my toothbrush in there. All kinds of stuff. I also designed and 3D printed, whoops, <laughs> these nifty uh, organizers. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description to where you can uh, download that design. You can have it 3D printed. Anyway, this medicine cabinet has become a uh, really useful part of the RV. Adjacent to the sink, we have this nice set of three cubbies. Very useful space. Uh, will they fit? Uh, this is the new can of Campbell's Soup, which is smaller than the old cans, and, and that fits just fine. Uh, will it fit a small olive oil container? No. No. That'll become a disaster. Uh, how about a standard can of corn? Totally fits great. How about, uh, this is about the size of a can of cat food, it's, it's chicken. Um, it doesn't really fit, but you can uh, store two of them vertically like that instead of going, uh, going uh, well, horizontally, vertically, I'm not sure. Uh, but you can put two of them in there and they'll be fine. Um, what's really nice is it'll hold my butter dish, holds that perfectly. Um, so this is pretty useful space, but again, it's for standard size cans. Standard size cans fit in there just perfectly. Um, I don't think it'll, it would even fit uh, a big can of spaghetti sauce. Let's talk about the galley area just for a second. Um, and the best thing about this camper is it doesn't have a flip top sink. My previous camper had a glass cover that flipped up and down. And so because this doesn't have a flip top sink, all of these things that I would normally keep on the counter can just go in the sink uh, when I travel. And, uh, and, and that way they travel safely. Let's talk about the cooktop for a second. Um, the cooktop is a big improvement over uh, its predecessor, which was uh, smaller and a little bit different shape. This is really easy to clean. The... the, the grating part comes right out and it just makes it super easy to clean. Um, the only thing I worry about is this piece of glass breaking and you heard that. Um, you, you, in order to close this you're supposed to lift it and then close it so it aligns properly. No matter what you do it makes that awful noise. Uh, anyway one of the things I discovered is that uh, if you're using big pots and pans uh, that's, I mean, that's not a giant pot, um, but it's big enough. Um, it's so one of the things I'm worried about is the heat going up and, and hitting up in here and, and ruining the finish. Um, and so I think it's probably a good idea to avoid uh, larger pans. Here's a, here's a big, big fry pan. And the reason for that is that, um, this is concentrating heat back here. Um, in, in the front, the heat's going to come right out and, and go up. But in the back, it's going to concentrate here. And I discovered the hard way that uh, boiling uh, water here, when I went to pick up this pan, this, this handle that's normally nice and cool, uh, burned the bejesus out of me. Um, so uh, if you are using uh, pots with short handles, be very careful here and realize that in the back here, heat's getting concentrated. I bought some uh, new pans uh, for the camper. And so here are my uh, new camper pans, which are uh, much smaller with uh, nice long handles, uh, so I'm not gonna get burnt. Let's talk about the cabinets for a moment. Um, the cabinets have no problem fitting a standard uh, package of cereal. Goes in and out without a problem. You gotta tip it a little bit uh, to get it in and out the door. And it has no problem uh, fitting, I don't know if you have one of these, but I have this uh, dish folding, collapsing dish rack. Um, it has no problem uh, holding the collapsing dish rack in, in any one of a number of different ways. Uh, however, I am no longer going to use this. The, uh, instead, when I do my dishes, I'm going to put a white towel. I, I keep 
several of these in my camper at all times. I'm just going to put this towel on top and, uh, and put my wet dishes on top here first and then, and then hand dry them and put them away. I'm not going to use the dish rack anymore. The last thing I'm going to show you are all these cubbies. There's cubbies all over the place. This is the perfect place to keep shoes. I've got a couple pairs of shoes in here and there's still room uh, for the cat to hide in there. There are also uh, two cubbies under the bed. There's one where I keep my books and stuff. And there's another one further down where I keep all the animal stuff and a little mini vacuum cleaner. There's actually a lot of room in that one. There's a small cubby positioned right next to the toilet that's perfect for holding several rolls of toilet paper uh, and other bathing oddities. On each side of the bed, there are two storage cabinets. Uh, this is sufficient to hold about eight t-shirts. It'll also hold about eight days worth of socks and underwear if you change your socks and underwear every day. And each one of them holds that amount. And there are four of them, two on each side. I guess the only other thing I want to mention is that this camper doesn't come with any drawers. So I added uh, this little pull-down drawer thingamajig. See, my cat has decided that these are toys and he pulls them out. They're the covers for all the screws. Anyway, um, so I added this little uh, quasi-drawer thing. It, it holds up there with magnets. It's really quite nice. It's fairly expensive. Um, and I had to cut it uh, a little bit to get it in there. And I had to relocate a screw hole. So it's a, it's a fair amount of work to put this in. Uh, but it's a very uh, useful spot uh, to hold some stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video on uh, where you can store stuff or how big storage is in the Sears 620. If you have ideas or, or you have uh, some suggestions for folks on how to store stuff in the Sears 620, please leave a comment below to let us know uh, how you're dealing with storing things in the Sears 620. Thanks for watching.